Hey YouTube, Stackers, how is everything going? I thought I would give you a bit of an update on uh, the three graces from Alderney. Um, the video I did before was just before the launch, and when this coin launched last week, uh, it sold out within probably a couple of minutes, um, and uh, they're, they're already doing pretty well on eBay and the secondary market. So three graces, watch out for three graces releases this year. I think uh, if last year was the Una year, this year is gonna be the year of the three graces. I also found out there is a, a further release in gold, which is available as a private release uh, through Japan. So if any of you have contacts in Japan, there are, I think, up to 300 of these that were minted in gold, uh, and they are available, uh, I believe, from one or two sources in Japan, but uh, I don't know the exact source of these coins, so probably better to get on the, on, on the Google and, uh, and do some searching for the different gold versions, which are also likely to be pretty interesting releases. So stay tuned to the new Mistaka channel in the rest of this video. I'm going to show you the brand new Una and the Lion uh, Gilded Relief from uh, East India Company, uh, legal tender in St. Helena, and also show you some large, uh, larger coins fitting into XXL holders that have come in for grading, which uh, I think you might find quite interesting. Big welcome to 2021 and very happy to announce we're continuing our discount promotion. 2% off everything at Coin Connection with code NEIL, N-E-I-L. Certainly the East India Company is one of the most memorable names from our history um, and uh, for good and bad reasons. But uh, the rights to use East India Company have been bought recently and the company name is being used to produce some really interesting coins. Um, and uh, East India Company as a producer of coins is not a, uh, a mint that you can really ignore. Uh, it's one of the few private mints that are gradable by NGC, like the Germania Mint. And that's a status that really is only given to uh, high quality private mints. So it's a little bit of an honor in many ways. This coin has um, the legal tender authority of St. Helena on it. So it's a, a proper coin, a legal tender coin. And there are 500 of these coins that have been minted. They, uh, they show Una and the Lion, a kind of uh, a new design of Una and the Lion and uh, they're gilded on the, the pattern part of the coin, which I think looks pretty smart, but um, various people who've commented on this coin, um, I guess it's a kind of hit and miss kind of thing in a way, because some people think the, uh, the gilding makes it look a little bit cheap and tacky. Some people really like the gilded uh, look of the coins. There are collectors buying this that only collect co coins which are gilded. Uh, some collecting for the first time. Most of the ones that have been bought that I know of uh, have come from Westminster, who seem to have done quite a big marketing effort on this coin. I don't know whether it was also sold by the East India Company Direct or whether this was a special edition for Westminster customers. Uh, either way, the mintage of 500 of these is pretty low and there's been a lot of interest on Facebook and the groups in this coin. And judging from my post over the last couple of days, lots and lots of these coins are going for grading. Will they be successful? Um, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. But uh, in many ways, it's an interesting coin. And Una, as a, as a uh, concept, uh, has proved to be very, very successful in the last 12 months. What I want to show you now is... Uh, some coins that have arrived for submission to NGC and these coins are all going into extra extra large holders so uh, any coin over 45 millimeters wide doesn't fit one of the regular NGC holders 
and needs one of the extra large holders. Um, and so it's quite fun to get these supersized coins in and show you, uh, show you guys a little bit about what people are sending for grading for uh, going in the XXL holders. This one is the, uh, the Peace coin, which I think is a really, really nice design coin. I've seen it in gold and it's spectacular, uh, and also some of the smaller silver pied forts. This is the enhanced proof 5 ounce Elton John coin with the mesmerizing eyes. Uh, I, I really like the design of this coin. I think it's elegant, simple. Um, it's just a really nice design of coin and it's proved very, very popular. These 5 ounce ones sold out very quickly. Lots of them have been sent in for grading. This one I think is a Westminster edition as well of um, Una and the Lion. It's a silver coin gilded uh, completely, so it looks a little bit like a gold coin, but obviously if it was a gold coin, it would be uh, more than my pay grade probably to uh, get it submitted to NGC. I think it should be gradable by NGC. It's a kind of copy edition or a, a replica edition uh, of the Una and the Lion pattern, and I think it's a pretty cool coin. Here's the enhanced proof gold version. This is the five ounce gold version of that silver coin that you saw a minute ago. You can see those mesmerizing eyes when you kind of tilt it, uh, which I think is a really, really cool bit of minting technology to, uh, to produce that on the coin. Um, and they've just launched actually this week the Bowie uh, enhanced um, silver and gold proofs. There are 100 uh, of the two ounce Bowie proofs 60 of these five ounce gold bowie proofs and here's the last one i want to show you this one came from a set of six very low mintage set this uh the mintage for this five, 50 pound gold piece celebrating concord is only 29 coins so 29 coins you'll probably never see another one of these uh, incredibly rare coin legal tender in gibraltar uh, little island um, just off southern Spain, which the Spanish would like to have uh, as their own. But uh, coins at the moment still have the Queen's head on, and there's a series of six of these coins, of which this is the largest in the set. And uh, hopefully in some of my other videos you'll see the, uh, the other five of those coins going in for grading and coming back, because they're also pretty cool. That's all there is for me for the moment. Please like, subscribe, comment and participate in our great Numistaka group on Facebook.